Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out DS Audio's Thorn, which uses spectral shaping methods to create sound, which is a little bit unique in and of itself, but it's got a lot of unique features on top of that. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and review the main features of the synth and check out some of its presets because it sounds great. So I got this project that I'm working on right now. And it's actually got three different instances of Thorn in it. So we've got this pluck right here. We've got this pad, which almost sounds like an actual uh, cello or something. And of course that's being side chained to the kick drum and then we have another kind of synthy pluck on top of that. So all three of those together combined with the drums and the bass I think makes a pretty good start to a nice track. So without further ado, let's run through the key features of Thorn. It's got three oscillators and as I said, it uses spectral shaping to create the sound. So if we wanna come into the harmonic editor, we just gotta click right there and jump right in. And here we can do any editing with our, you know, our mouse just by clicking and dragging. We do have 16 different slots. So if I come over here to this one and make a design, you know, we can come in and do stuff like that easily enough. We can draw in just har odd harmonics or even harmonics. And really we have a lot of just control over it. So the top here is the amplitude and the bottom down here is the phase. If we wanna come in and add phase to any one of these, we can. And then once we come in and draw whatever we want, we can come in and just kind of go through it using the position knob right here. And of course we can modulate that position knob with an LFO or an envelope or something like that. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you. We can also cycle through some of the presets here. And you'll also notice that some of these are highlighted and some of them are kind of grayed out. That's because Thorn will make the modulation, it will estimate what is the best transposition between this one and this one, and it will just add them like that. So you can see that it's kind of a natural progression from one form to another right there. We're not gonna spend too much time in here, I just wanted to point it out. Uh, really cool, we can send it to filter one or filter two or both. We've got our kind of standard oscillator controls. Just come through and choose another preset. So we do have a noise oscillator right here and you can load up any sort of samples in here as well and play them like an instrument. If you just turn on key, the noise will then be pitched up and down depending on what key you press. There's also a loop mode as well. And we got some pretty basic controls here. And then we come over here to the harmonic filter, which is a very unique filter. You know, we've got our standard two filters over here, which are very straightforward some filter types inside of here, a bunch to choose from and whatnot. But we also have this harmonic filter, which again, we can jump in and edit the filter. So we have a voice style harmonics here. Again, the top is amplitude when the bottom is the phase, but we can click through here and come in and look, we got tons of different presets to choose from, or we can come in and draw in our own as well. And this is really gonna transform the sound and it actually is a very unique approach to sound design. So you can see that's really changing the sound as we cycle through some of these presets. So let me just close out of there. And speaking of presets, if you come in, we've got bass, leads, pads, and sequences. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a sequence because you see we got glitches and just regular sequences. And the thing about this is this glitch sequencer right here, which just sounds phenomenal. So what I wanna do actually is just come into this MIDI and maybe just Bring that over like that and delete these. <laughs> so you can already tell, very, very cool. What's really cool about this too is we have glitch presets inside of here. So not only do we have regular standard presets up here, but we've got glitch style presets. So we've got a few controls right here inside of the glitch sequencer. RP stands for repeater, so it's like a beat repeater.
We can turn it on, turn it off right here. And there's also a randomized feature for each of these. So if we want to randomize. So really tweaking out the sound. Uh, before we move on to the other parameters down here, I just want to point out we do have a speed control, step control. We can sync it to the envelope or the keys. Uh, we do have a mix knob. And we can add it pre-effects or post-effects. So these effects are going to affect the signal before it gets to the effects module over here. But before we do that, let's just come in and tune it up 12 semitones. That's a little bit better. Uh, so next up, we've got low pass and high pass filters. If it's just like this, it's going to be passed through completely normally. High pass filter. The BT stands for bit crusher and the SR stands for a sample rate reducer. And then the gate is kind of how long each one of the beats will play. So this thing is really, really cool and really unique. You don't get too many glitch sequencers inside of synths these days, but it's there and it's awesome. The next module over, we've got Arpeggio. Very straightforward, but again, we have a number of presets inside of here so we can easily change the melodic style. And again, we can come into speed and choose how fast it plays. We've got our velocity. No value, so if we want to change that to, you know, the fifth step instead of the seventh, easy enough. Again, we can have our gate down here so we can get like a trance gate style thing going on if we wanted. We can also tie notes together. And we had our modes up, down, up, down, you know, our just standard kind of arpeggio modes. How many octaves we're going to go over up to four, it looks like. His shuffle amount, we can change that. Let's come in and choose another preset before we continue. Next to that, we've got some effects, three different pages of effects, in fact, and we can come in and turn any of them on or off just by doing this. If you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and load it up for you. So you can see we have chorus, flanger, and delay. But if I hit reverb, we'll come over to where the reverb is. So that's very simple. We can click and drag the order as well, which is always useful. We do have a mod matrix, but you don't need to jump in here that often because it does have kind of a drag and drop system. So if we want to say, drag this LFO2 to the position here, all I gotta do is click and drag. And then if you right click and drag up or down, you'll drag the amount. And also any parameter, you can right click and add modulation as well. You can send it to wherever you want by right clicking. So the modulation matrix is here and you can use it to add the amount. You see as I'm adjusting the depth here, it's changing this parameter right there. That's very useful. You can come in and change the target and the source very easily or add new ones. So right next to these four parameters up here at the top, you have a lock buttons. And if you lock that and then switch through presets, it's going to keep those. So if you have like an arpeggio here, for example, let's just choose a preset. If I lock that down and now flip through the presets, that arpeggio is always gonna be activated for the presets, which is very helpful. So the fact that you can lock down the glitch sequence, the arpeggio, the effects, or the modulation routing is just, it's mind blowing. I don't think there's any other synth that I've had my hands on that I can remember right now that has this sort of system where you can lock these things down as you switch through entire presets. So down here at the bottom, we have ample envelopes, two standard envelopes, which we can route to anything we want by clicking, dragging, and dropping. Uh, you can also right click to show what it's modulating. We do have two LFOs, a vibrato module, and two multi-stage envelopes down here with their own presets. 
which again, you can route to whatever you want. Boom, boom, doosh, doosh. Come in here. So again, we have a speed control, you know, we can switch between curves and steps. So essentially it's like two extra step sequencers down here for modulation sources, which is a lot if you add it all up, right? Anyway, that's a quick look at Thorn. I highly suggest checking this thing out. It is a beast if you like modulation. It is a beast if you're looking for spectral synthesis and it is a beast if you just like a great sounding synth. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.